Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, in this video, I want to demonstrate how to merge together files of a similar format, but they all have headers. So if we pop open, I had uh, extracted, of course, I automated it, uh, this from a, a website where we had a list for of roofers. And But you'll notice there's a header row, right? And so if I was to merge all these without doing anything, that header row would be in every one, uh, of course, but I still want the header row. I just don't want it from every file. And so that's what I'm going to demonstrate here in the script I wrote. Um, so this first before we let's go ahead and run it. So I'm going to kick it off here and it's going to say what files do you want? Let me um, come over here and get the path to this. Oh, here we go. So we can navigate to it easily. There we go. Um, I think it's everything in here. Yeah, so we're just going to select all and say open. Um, now it's going to ask you what file name do you want to merge it to? So um, let's say merged roofers and be sure to include the extension because it's possible the extensions might have been different on the files so i didn't take care of that so here we go and i'm gonna hit okay and there we go well it was what one second and uh, now we have one file and it has all of them in it um, but with one header row so here and it's up here you can see that one's a mag it uh, a little different yeah, a mag almost spot on. And it took it from each one of these. So what are we doing here? So, um, you know, an auto hotkey, go check it out. You can do the file select. That's where I'm selecting the files. M3 means multi-select, right? So you can select more than one. Um, if uh, if it comes back with nothing, this will just say cancel it. So if you, if you didn't give a path, it would stop moving forward. The same thing with this next one. If you don't give a file name, it'll cancel it. I have a little function called canceled. And if we jump down to it here, it basically says, hey, if... if you know, these things, whatever is passed to it is blank, just exit, I actually exit out of the app entirely. Um, and then if that's not true, then it, uh, it'll take those files and it, um, this is going to loop over each new row because that's how that um, file select gets them. And it will loop over them and it's going to parse them and um, grab, open up each file, read uh, the 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 first time through, it will read that header row and let it pass. After that, it uh, it'll it'll only grab um, everything from the one beyond the first row. So here, oh here is where it's saying if if is one, then just continue. So it doesn't. This is where it says basically append the row. But if it was that first row, don't bother, right? So that was the the little complexity of the very first time through. You want the header row. After that, you don't want the header row. Um, and then we just say you know file. Um, this cleans it up in case you typed a bad illegal character and append it all and then run it. And that was where I, I opened it. So that's it. It's a really simple script. Uh, it, it's one of those things, again, if you deal with files and folders and you're trying to, you know, often merge them together or move files around, I could have also gone through and deleted the files if I felt really confident about this, or maybe just moved them into a subfolder, right? Or, or probably I could even automate sending them all to a zip file. So they're all there, but they're zipped together. So I hope that helps. Cheers.